Hey, what's going on guys? Ben Brewster here at TravelX.com. This video is about the TRX Drift Drill. So it's basically, if you're struggling with your transition from your, your leg lift or your initial weight shift into the linear move and you can't feel how to, how to figure out how to use your lower half and how to feel your back leg underneath you and load the pelvis and transition from that weight shift into that lower half, uh, this is a good drill that we've really found useful for teaching guys that first move and how to transition it into that hinge and that linear move. So again, I posted about the drift before. If you guys aren't familiar at all with the drift, I'm gonna make sure to link the article down below. You can go and read up on the concept. But case in point, high level throwers typically don't come to balance points and stay back over the rubber as they shift forward down the mound. They have aggressive tempos, they gather their weight, and their leg lift takes them a little bit forward. It's, that's the drift component. If there's a little bit of a forward move during the leg lift, an up-tempo shifting of their center of mass. And when they get into their glutes and into their drive phase, because their center mass has shifted forward, that dropping into the glutes really accelerates their pelvis forward. So that's really the essence of the drift. A lot of athletes struggle to feel this, struggle to, to find it. And so I'm gonna show you the TRX drift drill and a couple modifications we've made to this drill recently to help feel it transfer a little bit better. So all you're gonna need is a set of TRX straps, suspension straps. You can get these for 30, 40 bucks, uh, some version of these online. And you're just gonna hang them from a squat rack, a door frame, whatever you've got. So the essence of the drill is if you're a guy who gets stuck in kind of a balance point or even worse, you get stuck in kind of a hip hike, right, your leg lift, you kind of tip your pelvis and you, your weight is shifted way too far back the entire delivery. All we're using is a strap to help support our weight so that we can teach an athlete how to feel that weight slightly out front. You should feel maybe five to 10% of your weight, or maybe even less than that, maybe like five to 10 pounds of weight on the strap. So it's not an aggressive leaning your entire body weight into the strap. You're just trying to feel during the leg lift a little bit of a shift to where your weight is on that inside part of the back heel. So you shouldn't feel your weight leaking on the toes. You shouldn't feel yourself falling over backwards. You shouldn't feel the weight on the outside of the foot. The inside of the back heel is a good cue for feeling that initial weight shift. It's a very subtle lean. It's a very subtle, I like to think of it as like a lean and turn, um, but it's just that very slight amount of, of weight shift and the strap helps you feel, get to that position and pause and just feel what that looks like and what that feels like. Because it's not a position that if I let go of the strap, it's not a position you can just hold forever. It's not a balance point. It's slightly out front. And so we can consider this a dynamic balance point. Some coaches refer to it that way. But in the past, all we've done is we've had guys get to that position, feel that position for a couple reps, let go of the strap, and then throw and feel that transition from the, the leg lift into the rest of the throw. The problem is some athletes we found still can't connect the dots. They get to this effective leg lift and then they let go and they immediately just kind of lose contact with that back leg. So one thing that you can try is as you get to the peak leg lift, as you transition down out of that, right here there's no real tension in that back glute. You've just lifted your leg, there's a little bit of a lean. Once you actually get down out of the leg lift, this is where there actually is a sit and there's tension in the back glute. There's really no tension here, now there's tension. And so using the strap to actually guide yourself down the mound to feel what that next part of the lower half, that linear move actually feels like, here you are gonna need a lot of weight in the strap because here your weight is gonna be shifting forward down the mound. So what you can do is this. Get to your leg lift, guide yourself slowly down the mound. And what I'm trying to feel here is I'm trying to feel my pelvis stay closed. I'm trying to feel my head stay stacked over my pelvis. I'm trying to feel that back foot stay anchored and stable into the ground. So what you shouldn't feel is that you're in this unstable position. It shouldn't feel like this very difficult, you know, quad dominant position where it's hard to hold. It shouldn't feel unstable. What you should feel is like your legs are underneath you, your pelvis is underneath you, your upper half is backed. We call this the stack. And you should feel like you're just really loaded and coiled and ready to throw. So again, get here, lower yourself, maintain direction. I'm keeping direction towards my target. I'm keeping closed. And you can basically just work through this move right here. Shift, transition, shift, transition, shift, transition. As you start to get comfortable with that, you can try it without the strap. You can try just the leg lift part and go back to the original version. So it looked like this. But again, just a bridge drill that you can use 
not only to teach what the initial shift feels like, but to teach how to get out of that position into the linear move, because the linear move is another piece that a lot of guys really struggle with. So give those two variations a try. These make a really good kind of primer. You can even do them with dry reps, just like I am right here. You can do them if you're throwing, so you can set up a net and actually throw plyos into them. You could have a partner set up a TRX setup and actually play catch with this. Um, but it's all in all just a really good field drill, especially for guys who have no idea how to do the drift, have no idea how to do that linear move. You can kind of regress them and teach it from square one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully you guys took something away from that. Give this a try and let me know what you think in the comments.